Sweet. Now you see, Jack, Jean proposed to Maddie at the Rock. I mean, they might not be married today. <laughs> married? <laughs> when did she say yes? <laughs> I'm still waiting. What? You're not married? Who gives a rat's ass? The point is, is that the Rock means something to people. Like, this shouldn't be commercialized. It's, it's a spiritual thing. Spiritual? <laughs> it's a rock. A big, ugly rock that's gonna be the death of all of Falling Rock one of these days. No one knows how it got up there and what in the hell's keeping it from falling. Exactly my point. It's a mystery. One of the many mysteries that surround the myths that make up the legend of the rock. I'm not gonna sit up here and listen to this crap? Oh, but you are, Jack. But you are gonna sit in that chair. And you are gonna listen to what I have to say. So sit back, relax, loosen your tie, take your shoes off. Comfy now? Good. Because what I'm about to tell is a profound tale that forever changed you and me at the rock. It was the day of my high school election. See, I had just won. You may get disgusted. Start thinking that I'm strange. Kids are going Job. That's an unusual name. Hmm. It's from the Bible, actually. I should have guessed as much with parents named Mary and Joseph. I bet you got kidded a lot, Job. Well, actually, it was a lot tougher for my brother, Jesus. Wasn't Job the one who was cursed? Mm, actually, he was blessed. Oh, yeah, he had a great until the devil went whining to God and said, let me get my hands on him. Job, you do have it all. A beautiful girlfriend. Very beautiful. A great car. A well-paying job. Not to mention this beautiful head of hair. You're young, healthy, popular, and you're going to be the next class president. Mm. I am blessed. For he's a jolly good fellow. For he's a jolly good fellow. Which nobody can deny. Yeah. Did you bring my medal? Wait, wait. Official ceremony. The senior class of Falling Rock High is proud and honored to appoint as its new class president, Joe Bowman. Yeah! What's the hair? I'm so proud of you. Make me a promise that you won't ever leave me. I need you by my side. I promise. Cool. Metal? When you're on. Beer's really taking its toll. Oh, Job. Joe, do you have fifty dollars I can borrow? Till when? Till uh, next winter. Eh, no problem. Thanks, Joe. You're the greatest. Hey, 
Hey, Joe! You know, you got the coolest car in school. And hey, could I borrow it this weekend, man? Yeah, sure. I'll use my other one. Thanks, Job. You're the greatest. Yeah, I know. I know. Hey, Joe! Thanks for the car, man. Hey, could you give me a job, too? Sure. I think my boss owes me one anyway. You'll start Monday morning, 6 a.m. sharp. Seven o'clock would be better for me, man. Whatever. Oh, thanks, Job. You, you're the greatest. I know, I know. I'm the greatest. lands of me. How dare you sully the resting places of the ancient ones with, with your vulgarity. From this day on, you shall know the folly of your arrogance. You shall know a thousand nights of torment. Everything you touch shall turn to waste like that foul urine that you sprinkled over these hallowed resting grounds. And every day, There'll be a passing remembrance of your heinous misdeed. Silence! Your curse begins now! Oh, uh, and by the way, your hair? Forget it. Thank God. First, I really have to apologize for totaling your car. The second thing is, it seems there was a recount in the election. It seems the other can vote for himself until the last second, and well, uh, you're out, and he's in. Gotta go. New party. What kind of a guy would vote for himself? My name's Jack Mammon. Foxy. I believe this belongs to me. Uh, by the way, thanks for the vote. Foxy. Keep on trucking.
Son. Mom, Dad, everything's gone wrong. Job, you have until six o'clock tonight to get out of our once happy home. What? After all, Job, we can't have a loser living in the house. What would the neighbors think? We've changed the locks to the house. And the car. Your clothes are packed. And thrown out of the window. We've rented your room. Mom! Dad! We just adopted him. Come here, you little bugger. It's a wonder no one has adopted you before now. Jack, we'll have what's-his-name out by six, and then you can move all of your things in. Joe, do you know Jack is president of his class? We had hoped that one day you would make us proud, but I guess we were just young, impetuous fools. Eh. And if you see us on the street, it's Mr. and Mrs. Bowman to you. Those are our names. They call us when your luck changes. for the support, guys. <laughs> We're sorry, Joe, but that story does have its lighter side. I'm gonna level with you, Joe. AmeriCorps does own The Rock, but it's my account. And I could be made president if this thing turns a profit, but I'm not going through with it. I'm gonna keep it on hold. <laughs> well, why didn't you tell me this from the start? Yes, because we all love to see you get your bowels in an uproar. Mm -hmm. <laughs> I guess I can buy that. Jack, doesn't this rock mean anything to you? Just business. Just business, Jack. Well, that's it for me. I gotta work tomorrow. Hey, we all do. Mmm, I don't. Uh, wait, 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 we didn't even get a chance to see the movie. So what else is new? Come on, Job. I'll drop you at unemployment. See you, everybody. Oh, thanks. See ya. Bye. 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 Oh, hold it, hold it. Where's your manners? Do you need any help? Um, no, thanks. I'll see ya. Be... We're rolling. Uh, can somebody help me roll my car? I didn't out of think the... I meant it, literally. <laughs> You sure you don't need any help? Go! <laughs> any food left? No, Jack, you got it all. Ooh, well, my work is done. 